I have had the utmost pleasure of knowing Don Harris since the fall of 2015. Don called our adult education program to inquire when we may be having our next orientation, only to learn that it was the next day. So Don quickly arranged after, after school care for her two young boys, arranged transportation for herself, and showed up. From that day forward, Dawn's determination, perseverance, commitment, and attendance never wavered. Dawn has a strong quietness about her that is gentle and yet fierce. That orientation led to Dawn achieving her high set, and that led to her joining and completing our college transitions program, which then led to where Dawn is now. I'll let her fill you in. I truly believe that Dawn is one who will complete all the goals that she sets for herself. In getting to know Dawn, I continue to be greatly impressed with her follow through and her way of facing difficulty straight in the face with a smile. Dawn. Um, as said, I'm Dawn Harris. I'm currently in my first Ninth, sorry, third semester, my sophomore year at UMF. I'm an anthropology major with a music minor, looking at going into a PhD program, hopefully. Uh, my road here was rocky and hard. It started off rocky, and that began with my mother passing away my freshman year of high school, in my second semester. I, at that point, still cared about education a lot but it wavered and it got worse and worse as I fell in with the wrong crowd, trying to look for some comfort in my life. Uh, I actually was on a roll in my high school, but my junior year was asked to not come back. I was informed that I didn't have parents to sign paperwork and I had missed too many classes, so it was just better for me to leave campus. And I listened, but listening led to some dark places. I had to use substances to feel better about myself and ended up hating myself. And for a long time, I still hated myself, which led to a failed marriage of my high school sweetheart. I use the word sweetheart very vaguely in this case. Um, we had been divorced for two years when I met my current husband and his two lovely boys who have had the pleasure to raise. Raising them and the youngest starting kindergarten gave me the courage to go back to school to realize I couldn't tell them to do their homework and to graduate when I had not. They are my rock, and when I called the adult dead, I felt very alone, but I walked in and I found a family there. I have extended that family into my college advisor, Galen Aguilar, who is a rock there and pushes me every day to be the best I possibly can be and to work hard within the community I have built for myself. Thank you for allowing me to speak here this evening.